bit of a video update tonight. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll know at the beginning of this year, 2019, I started doing a bit of running and I picked up some basic kit. Obviously running is super accessible. All you need really is yourself and a pair of trainers. You can start from your own doorstep and that's kind of what really got me into it. It's so accessible. You can fit it around what's uh, sort of a busy modern lifestyle and uh, it's a great way of keeping fit and also um, there's a social element if you run with a group. So I started running at the beginning of the year. In the last six months or so I've been using this kit, um, weather dependent. Um, obviously during the summer months I've not been wearing this high-vis jacket. Um, but I was looking at my Strava and I've done about 250 miles in that time. Um, nothing dramatic. I'm sure the serious runners among you will uh, We'll do that in barely a month or two, but for me, that's quite a lot of miles. Um, this is my first year, I'm doing around about 10k a week um, in a single sort of weekly run. I have done sort of second sort of 5k runs during the week, but it's quite hard to find the time. So all this kit has got about 250 miles on it, and I thought well, that's quite a good point to have a look and see how it's performing. So I guess probably in terms of what we've got here, we'll start off with the, the Ultra Boost trainers. These have been absolutely fantastic. Um, these are the Ultra Boost ST, so they've got the uh, the sort of uh, the support here, this sort of uh, rubber um, strip through the uh, Ultra Boost material, and that is to help you uh, avoid overpronation. So it it adds an extra level of support on the inside of your foot. Uh, to stop it rolling. Um, these have worn fantastically, their dur durability is really quite astounding. So when I first picked these up, um, I looked at these soles, obviously you've got the exposed Ultra Boost portions in there, you've got a very thin rubber, uh, continental rubber covering, and I thought, knowing how quickly I get through a pair of boots, um, or how quickly I wear boots, you know, I just thought, these aren't going to last, but these have lasted fantastically well. Um, only just really sort of losing some of the profile in this sort of central portion here. So this rubber is definitely good for a, sort of probably another 250 miles. The uppers, the uh, the prime knit uppers. Again, my first experience with this sort of material. It does have this sort of heat bonded uh, sort of plastic uh, coating to create a, a firmer toe cap. Um, but obviously your, your toes are pushing against this. It is a knitted material and uh, again, you know, it hasn't dropped a thread. Um, these have been wet, they've been through mud. Um, all they've ever had is a brush off. Um, but yeah, really, really great shoes actually. The Ultra Boost, um, whilst you know, it's hard to tell over a period of time, but I haven't ever found or felt like it's lost that sort of first feel good factor of the uh, the bounce, the energy return in the Ultra Boost. Um, I think it's pretty good for uh, retaining its qualities in that respect, but certainly um, I don't feel that these have lost their performance. Probably the one thing to say about these uh, is the sizing. So I am a UK 8 um, and I sized up to a UK 9 in these. Um, Part of that's probably down to the general sort of fit on Adidas. I think most people talk about them running a little small. Um, and I was sort of between eight and a half and a nine. Um, now, I have had some issues during the year um, with uh, what I believe to be the IT band in my right leg, uh, which led to uh, a painful knee. Um, so more a sort of wear, wear issue rather than a um, a true injury. It was something to manage. Um, I took a couple of weeks off. Now, I believed at that time that it might be something to do with these shoes. And there was something which I corrected with these shoes. Now, because I've sized up, my forefoot has got quite a lot of lateral movement. It's not bound in uh, by the prime weave, or the prime knit rather, in the forefoot. So that, I wondered whether that aggravated the uh, IT band issue. 
The other thing which really made a difference was being mindful of my running technique. Um, being a novice runner, um, being enthused by my sort of new abilities, I wasn't focusing on uh, on technique. And when I was getting fatigued, my technique became really sloppy. I was taking great big strides, not much control of where my feet were landing. So between sort of a bit, bit more mindfulness to technique, a um, bit more uh, awareness of my preferred pace and taking it steady, um, and really tightening these up. So I made sure I had minimal uh, movement in the forefoot by just making sure the whole upper was uh, tied down tight. So I think probably in hindsight, I've made a slight issue by sizing up on these. So I think next pair, if I do get another pair of these, um, which you know, to be perfectly honest, I, I'm mindful of doing, um, I will go down to eight and a half and just see if that makes a little bit of difference, just have a slightly tighter shoe. But again, I can't really isolate the issues I've had to these shoes. Um, I think it's down to technique and uh, I have resolved it. So your mileage might vary, but very, very happy with these. Very uh, hard wearing, lightweight, comfortable, uh, good support, good uh, cushioning. Really couldn't be happier with those. Next we come on to the jacket, so this is very much uh, a jacket that I'm using for the winter months. Um, it is the Pro Viz jacket, it is incredibly reflective. Um, the, uh, if you check back on my original video, in fact I'll see if I can cut in the, the little shot of this uh, under light outdoors at night, but it is incredibly reflective, very very uh, uh, easily seen under car lights, headlights, um, what I would say is that during hours of sort of dusk, when you might not be encountering car headlights, I was a little bit um, sort of envious of other colleagues who are, I was running with who had high-vis jackets because I think the high-vis jackets do allow you better visibility during low light. Um, but this, um, loads of people commented on how bright this gets under headlights. It really is very good in that environment. Um, the other thing about these jackets is breathability. So they do have uh, mesh portions down the arms, on the back, um, but they do get hot and they do get sweaty. Um, I'm not sure because again, I'm a novice runner. My first experience with a running kit. Um, I'm not sure whether you can get the perfect combination of a breathable jacket, which is also uh, reflective and robust, but with this jacket, um, certainly on the arms, you know, I've had 10k runs, nothing too dramatic, um, where I have had literally sweat pouring off my arms um, down to the cuff. Now I can manage that with a wicking long sleeved t-shirt, um, but sometimes with this jacket it is quite warm, you don't need uh, a long sleeve t-shirt, so it's all a bit of a trade-off. Do you want a little bit more comfort and manage the uh, perspiration or do you want to be sort of more comfortable in terms of temperature? Again, very happy with this jacket. Um, it's performed really well. It's just that uh, breathability uh, issue that I have with it. Now, one of the things um, when I first reviewed this, I noticed was it, it talks about sort of, uh, what well, indicates that it's actually got quite a short life if you're using machine wash. So I was very cautious about how I cared for this. Now, I've never machine washed this. Um, every time I have a run, all I do is flip it inside out, uh, give it a quick spray down in the shower so I get off the, the fresh sweat and perspiration, then hang it to dry, um, still inside out, and it's kept its reflectivity. It's not lost anything on, on that front. Uh, it seems to be holding up fine. There is no... Uh, hygiene issues. Uh, it isn't a jacket which I've no, noticed any odour on. I think it's actually quite a good way of managing the longevity of the jacket um, by just giving it a rinse down. Um, certainly that will preserve the reflectivity. I don't think these jackets are going to be wonderful in machine washes, but uh, again, you might have your own opinions. In terms of uh, breathability, one thing I will say is this zip is uh, fantastic in terms of if you want a vent um, that zipper, I don't know what brand it is, 
but it's a damn good zipper and it will always stay in place. That's actually quite helpful. What would be quite nice is to have a uh, zipper coming up from the bottom as well so you can you can vent a little at the top and a little at the bottom. I think that would be quite a nice feature. Pockets, very useful. I pop my iPhone in there. That's how I run my Strava. I don't have a smartwatch. Um, they're a reasonably sized pocket. I can fit a uh, woolly hat in there. Um, but at the same time, my phone isn't jumping around. It stays in place. It sort of snugs down into the corners of the pocket. So overall, a really well-built jacket, pretty well designed. If they could sort the breathability, um, it really would be um, a perfect jacket, really. Um, I probably will get a high-vis jacket um, orange or yellow just for those sort of dusky evenings when I won't be encountering the headlights because this as I say fantastic headlights but out of headlights it just doesn't quite shine up. The last thing that I bought this year um, to accompany me on my runs were these million mile lights um, and for the price I think they're £12 delivered um, I've been really impressed. Not really used the uh, the white light there, um, but the red um, has been with me on every evening run. I just pin it through the uh, the back of the jacket uh, using the silicon uh, band. So you just pin it through the fabric. That jacket is a very sort of fine mesh, so no problem at all getting it pinched on there. And uh, yeah, I mean, just simply nothing to go wrong. So it's generating its own energy with a sort of uh, a uh, metal block moving through a copper coil, I would have thought in there. You can feel it moving, um, and the slightest movement up or down gets those lights illuminating. And uh, yeah, for the money, um, maybe not a primary light. Lots of you will probably want to have uh, something a little bit more uh, brighter. Obviously, this doesn't work when you're static, so if you're waiting to cross a road, you lose all illumination. So, for a lot of you, I think probably you might want this as a backup, but lightweight, low cost, never needs any maintenance, um, environmentally friendly in terms of nothing's going to landfill, you're not creating new uh, batteries and dumping them, so that's been a nice little toy to play with and uh, a nice addition to my running kit. So I guess that's probably about it. Um, that's my kit for this year. Um, I might pick up some extra stuff uh, going into 2020. Um, I do want to try out different sorts of trainers, but actually these guys have uh, prevented me from doing it because they've lasted so well. Okay, well, I have got one new toy and uh, the other week, um, out running, um, lots of runners started wearing head torches and I thought actually that's a blooming good idea. Um, certainly even running around cities you sort of have the trip hazards of uh, tree roots of popping through pavements, all sorts of things to catch your foot on. And I thought actually one of these would be a fantastic addition to my kit and uh, another new toy, which I can review on the channel. So that's quite nice. It's a Fenix HL18R. It's got a max 400 uh, lumen output. Um, I think that's probably just sort of a short term turbo uh, feature the normal high output is 130, um, giving us a solid 12 and a half hours on its rechargeable battery. So, this review will be coming up. Um, I'll also take it out for some live testing. We'll do some testing in the field just to see how good that light is. It's got sort of spotlight and floodlight features, so it's got four, uh, three lenses or three uh, LEDs on there. Um, picked up from uh, Heaney. Um, I'll put a link below and of course we'll do a review on this. Okay, well, I hope that's useful. Um, I've been really impressed with this kit. Um, really nice uh, introduction to running. Completely uh, low cost, easy access of activity. Really good socially, thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, I think I'd be pretty sad if I didn't get the opportunity to run each week now. So I'm kind of addicted uh, to running, it's good fun. It's uh, good for you, great stuff. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Um, occasional running videos, um, but mainly uh, boots, heritage footwear, denim, everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, that sort of stuff. Bit of guitar, bit of cycling, 
um, check out, might share some other common interests. If you thought this was a useful video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.